Hi kids, this is Miss Mayer and I'm going to show you today how to protect your data in your Google account. So I heard this morning about some students who lost data from their Google account and at first I thought that their passwords had been compromised and um, I think that some of some of the teachers and maybe some of you guys thought that too but that's actually not the case. So the person who uh, did this who deleted your information actually gave you the information that you need to protect yourself later on. So I want to show you what my Chrome account looks like when I'm logged in and then I want to show you what it looks like when I'm logged out. So I'm gonna log in and you'll see a big change in my account. So I bet you see a big change in my account. I bet you notice that there's a theme in my Chrome account and I have a bunch of apps installed. I have a lot of bookmarks and I have some extensions right up here. So sometimes though it's not this obvious when you sit down at a computer and someone else is logged in. Sometimes something like this happens. Sometimes you navigate to Google Drive and you notice, hey wait a minute, this is not my stuff. This is somebody else's stuff. And I think that's what happened earlier today and that person decided to um, do what I'm sure he or she thought was funny and delete all that stuff. Well, not very funny for the person whose things are gone. So this is how you're going to protect yourself from that ever happening to you. What you're going to do is you're going to go up here to these three lines in the top right. This is let's pretend class is over and we're about to leave class and we're using a MacBook. Now if you're using a Chromebook you can just turn it off. Hold down the power button about three seconds until the screen goes black and your account is protected. But if you're using one of the MacBooks or a PC then this is what you're going to do before you walk away. So here you are, you're all logged in, you have your email account, you have your Google Drive open, you've got your theme installed or whatever, this is your account, you're logged in. You're going to come up here to these three lines, these are called the hot dogs, and then you're going to go down to settings, and you're going to see your account right down here in people. You might have to scroll down to see that. My screen is big, so I see it right there on the screen. What you're going to do is this. It feels kind of scary, but it's the right thing to do. You're going to click on the X sign by your name underneath people. And if you ever sit down at a computer and someone else is logged in, this is the kind thing to do for yourself and for them. Go to the hot dogs, go to the settings, click the X by anybody who's under people right there. Click remove. When you do that, a fresh Chrome account is going to open up. And so here you are now. This is a completely blank account. Nobody's stuff is in here. Let me show you how I can know for sure nobody's stuff is in here. I'm going to go to the hot dogs and to settings. And I'm going to go down and look for that same section called people. And it says person one current. And I notice there's nothing in this account. There are no bookmarks. That When I go to apps, there are just the default apps there. If I try to go to Gmail, it's just going to take me back to the login screen because I don't, nobody's logged in here. This is how it should look. Now I can log in and sync my account. When I walk away, I go back to hot dogs, back to settings, and I click the X out beside that person and remove. My account's now gone off this computer and it's ready for the next person. Logging out is not enough. Disconnecting your account is not enough. You need to delete your account from that computer if it's a public computer. All right, um, the next thing I wanted to tell you is how to get your password changed if you think your password has been compromised. So first of all, don't ever share your password with anyone. But if you already have, or if you think someone knows it somehow, then I want you to tell a teacher and get that teacher to email either me, my name's Amy Mayer, or Miss Cortez, that's Laura Cortez, L Cortez, or A Mayer at thevillageschool.com. And I want you to have your teacher email us and ask for your password to be reset. What will happen is the next time you log in after we check the button, you'll still use your same password, but it will make you choose a new password. So that's what I want you to do if you think anything's happened. Um, always tell a teacher if you think your account's been compromised. If someone deletes your data, then tell your teacher and then you'll come and see me or Ms. Cortez and we'll put the data back for you. If you're a person who deleted somebody else's data, it would have been a kinder thing for you to explain to that person or tell your teacher someone left their account logged in. And I hope that's what you choose to do next time. But I do have to thank you for giving us the information we needed to educate your peers. And you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.